Okay, 20-2 is determining the cost of merchandise inventory. We have three learning objectives. You need to be able to calculate the cost of merchandise inventory using the first in, first out inventory costing method, which is called FIFO. You need to be able to calculate the cost of merchandise inventory using the last in, first out inventory costing method, which is called LIFO. And then you also need to be able to calc calculate the cost of merchandise inventory using the weighted average inventory costing method. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna talk about FIFO, first in, first out. This is when we are using the price of merchandise purchased first to calculate the cost of merchandise sold first. So the first stuff that we bought is gonna be the first stuff that we sold, okay? So in this case, what they're showing us is our total units on hand. We have 18 units left. So what we're going to look at is we are going to look at um, from those units, the last ones, because remember, first in, first out means the first ones that we bought, which would be January, February, April, these are the first, are gonna be the first ones that we sold. We only have 18 units left, so that means that we're gonna count those 18 units from the last things that we bought. Okay, so on November 22nd, we purchased eight, so we're gonna use eight there. We still have 10 left, so we're gonna use 10 from our September 5th purchase. That's gonna give us our 18 that we have left. Um, these are unit prices. So we're gonna add those up. We're gonna figure out the cost. We're gonna take the unit price of 2340 times the 10 to get 234. Same thing here, 2350 times eight to get 188. And this gives us 422. So this is our FIFO. This is what we have on hand. Now, really the opposite of that really would be our LIFO. That means the last things that we bought are going to be the first things that we sell. So purchase last to calculate the cost of merchandise sold. So this we're going to just go, we're going to flip it around. We have 18 units, but now we're going to sell the last things that we bought. So we're selling these. We're going to keep then our newest things. So when we figure out our 18, we're going to start from the top now. So we're gonna use the 10 from our January 1st purchase. We're gonna use our six from our February 16th purchase. And then we only need two more and we're gonna use that from our April 17th purchase. Again, we're gonna find out the cost by taking the unit price times the units to get our LIFO cost and then total them up to get our total LIFO cost. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the other one is called weighted average inventory costing method. This is using the average cost of the beginning inventory plus merchandise purchased during a fiscal period to calculate the cost of merchandise sold. Um, the average unit price of the total inventory is avail available is calculated. Um, this average unit price is used then to calculate both ending inventory and cost of merchandise sold. And then the average cost of merchandise is then charged against current revenue. So when we um, look here, the total of beginning inventory and purchases. So what we did here is we just figured out the total cost of everything, added that all together, and that's where we got 1,120. We also added up all of our units that we have. So we have 50 units. We divided those two numbers to get our weighted average price per unit. So what we're saying here is on average, those units cost $22.40. Even though when we look here, each time we purchase, they were different prices. Okay, this is just the average price. Remember at the units that our ending inventory was 18. So we're gonna take 18 times what we figured out to be our weighted average, 2240, and now our cost of our ending inventory is 403.20. Now to um, figure out our cost of merchandise sold, we're gonna take the cost of merchandise available for sale minus what our ending inventory is to get the cost of merchandise sold. 
So in FIFO, we figured out our ending inventory was $422. So we take this cost of merchandise available minus 422 to get our cost of merchandise that we actually sold. Um, this just puts it into a chart so we can see the difference between the FIFO, LIFO, and the weighted average. Our merchandise inventory is the same across the whole thing. Our net purchases are the same across the whole thing. Merchandise available for sale is the same across the whole thing. Here's where it's going to be different, where we figured out our ending inventory. Okay? And then also the cost of merchandise sold is going to be different as well. And then they put it into perspective for us. Um, in a period of rising prices, it says relative cost of any inventory. Uh, FIFO is going to be the highest, LIFO is going to be the lowest, and weighted average is going to be intermediate. Relative cost of merchandise sold, FIFO would be the lowest, LIFO would be the highest, weighted average would be intermediate. Um, lowering the cost or market inventory costing method. Um, market value is the price that must be paid to replace an asset. Lower of cost or market inventory costing method, um, which would be called LCM, using the lower of cost or market price to calculate the cost of any merchandise inventory. So in this context, cost refers to the actual amount paid for the unit of inventory. So cost is what we paid for that item. Market refers to the amount that must be paid to replace the unit of the inventory. So here we're calculating the cost, what we paid for that inventory. Here we're looking at the market price. So we have 18 units, um, the current market price. So this would be how much we'd have to pay to replace that inventory. So we're saying $22.50 a unit. So this doesn't change. And then lower of cost or market. So um, we're simply picking out which is the lower number. Okay, audit your understanding number one. On what idea is the FIFO method based? The price of merchandise purchased first should be charged against the current revenue. So we're saying the first things that we bought are going to be the first things that we sell. Number two, when the LIFO method is used, at what price is each item in ending merchandise inventory recorded? The prices of merchandise purchased last are going to be used in recording prices for each item on the inventory record. Number three, in a period of rising prices, which inventory costing method gives the lowest cost of merchandise sold? That would be that chart that we looked at um, where it gave us LIFO, FIFO, and weighted average. That would be FIFO. And last question, why should a business select one inventory costing method and use that same method continuously for each fiscal period? Using the same inventory costing method for all fiscal periods provides financial statements that can be compared with other fiscal period statements. If a business changes inventory cost methods, part of the difference in gross profit and net income may be caused by the change in methods. It's really important so that we are able to compare. Um, remember the phrase comparing apples to apples or oranges to apples. If we change, we can't compare accurately. That was the end of 20-2. You can now open up the 20-2 work together video.